So today I'm going to be going over how to set up a test server, like a basic 5M server for, like I guess, modding. So obviously what you're going to need is just an empty folder anywhere on your computer, doesn't matter what disk. So I've just set up a folder called tutorial server. And once you've done that, I'll leave this in the description, the link to this. But what you're going to need to do is download the latest one. Uh, I think it's recommended to download the latest recommended, but I usually just download the latest here at the top. Click that and wait for it to download. And then we can open up our downloads. And once it's done downloading, just go ahead and open it, the zip, and make a new folder in your tutorial server folder called Artifact. Then you can just open that up. And then everything in the zip, you can just drag into here. And now that we've done that, you can close the zip and then scroll down until you find fxserver.exe and then run it. And it's going to open up your browser. Go ahead and click link account and press continue. This is where it just, you set up like a admin password or whatever. You can literally just do one, two, three, one, two, three. Obviously you don't need, you probably shouldn't do this, but I don't really think you need a very secure password. Then you can press next. You can change the server to like test server next then go to popular recipes and choose cfx default 5m these are just bloat you don't need this for testing map modding stuff you, you really just need the default so once you've clicked the default one go ahead and uh, make sure this is the correct path that you want uh, it says you strongly suggest they strongly suggest using the default path so we're just going to use that and click save and go to recipe deployer uh, you can then click next then to get your license key this is your server key to authenticate your resources and whatnot go ahead and click this here the key master link you can sign in i'm going to i almost just leaked my server keys then um here you can click new server and then display name you can just make this whatever S server and then it'll say initial server IP address just search what is my IP on Google and then use that IP if you're home hosting which you are and then for the server type just click other slash home hosted and for the server provider just type in none and then you generate it and then you'll copy the server uh, server key to do so just click on the ID that's blue and it'll open up the like stats of your server key or whatever. And then just copy the server key and put it into your um, license key here. I'm going to regenerate this key anyway, so it doesn't matter if I show it. Then once you've put the server key, you just click run. Then you can click next. And then scroll down and click save and run server. You'll see here it's generating all the files. And we just got to wait for this to run. Then I believe once it says start re started resource chat, I think we can go ahead and restart the server. Just to ensure everything's working correctly. And then once you see this, uh, in this red text, it says cfx.re. And it says authenticated. This means your server is ready to go. So as we can see here, if we go into 5M. So here it says connect to desktop on LAN. It'll say your computer name, but then you can just go ahead and connect. Now, as you can see, our test servers were working, but of course it's the default stuff. So we still have to configure a few things, but I'll leave that for next video. Last thing I should mention is if you plan on doing anything like clothing or whatnot, um, I recommend changing the uh, SV max clients from 48 to like five to eight. This way you don't have to pay for Patreon to CFX. You like have, um, what's it called? Like, I forget what it's, I, th I think it's like to stream add-on clothing, you need uh, either less than eight slots or you need to be a uh, Patreon sub. So yeah, just change that to five or eight. 